Welcome back to the 13th Destiny Podcast with Magnum. This is James Magnum Cook, your host. And this is, well, I'm actually on my seventh day, but day six, traveling to California for filming on Mara the Vampire Princess, turned out to be an extremely boring day for the most part um, until the end, until the night at the hotel. So I'll start with... And some of the friends on Facebook and followers uh, were kind of following the story last night. And um, I didn't give all the details because I just kind of had to get off and do some other things. And it was just, but it was a crazy situation. And I will get to that in a minute. Uh, But anyway, I'll start out with how the day started out. The day started out pretty boring uh, for the most part due to the fact that well, I'm just traveling across uh, New Mexico and trying to get out of New Mexico. Long story, and remember, I'm anti-political. I'm not going to go into that. I just decided I was not going to stay in New Mexico and uh, spend any more money in New Mexico than I had to. Um, and uh, pretty much, I just drove across to try to get to Arizona. I originally was going to go to Tucson, uh, but that didn't happen, and that's why I would end up in this hotel that I didn't plan. So I did not plan and i had problems with my phone signal all day and uh i don't know maybe this like i try to always say maybe things are set for destiny it's one of the reasons that's other part of the destiny podcast name uh, part of it's because of the 13s that always come up in my life and, and ironically there's a 13 involved in this too but um we'll get to that in a minute um so anyway um i traveled across the uh state of new mexico uh i think i stopped once for gas that was an interesting situation because i took the i took the back road to start with uh and uh, ended up in this little gas station i can't even remember the name of the town it was it's just really really small there's like a I, I wish i'd remember the name of the town because this is where my uh credit card for my gas actually got caught in the machine and i had to get a pair of pliers from uh because it, it kept asking for like a debit pen and it's not a debit and i was like and this was like the only clerk working in there and it's supposed to be like the only gas station and like little grocery store in this little town because everybody was in line and i was like so i went there through the line the first time then i go to the line the second time it was and and she was like well you seem pretty calm for uh, everything that just went on i was like was I supposed to be upset? <laughs> and I was like, I was kind of shocked she asked that question, but it was funny. Uh, I don't think I've ever had that happen before either. It's like, um, I may have, but I just don't remember. Um, anyway, so I traveled across and I finally got into Arizona. And uh, then I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to make it to Tucson. So, you know, I've been to Tucson before. So uh, I know they have a pretty nice hotel there and, and but I couldn't get a connection on my phone and I was going to make the reservation on my phone I thought well I'll just well, I'll just drive I'll just keep driving you know and everything will be fine and like the previous day the longer you're out sometimes you know the tarder you are so and this was just from the drive but uh, I wasn't like feeling really really bad so um but I, you know I should have known like so when I checked in this this it was a chaotic situation at this uh hotel in uh, a holiday in wilcox arizona and uh, it was pretty chaotic and uh she's like well i don't have a room available i can get them a clean one and this is like almost between four and five o'clock out here and i was like that's fine and then she tells me i said well i need to get something to eat anyway i haven't really eaten since breakfast other than some protein drinks and stuff like that i said so i haven't really had a broken meal and she said well there's this really good steakhouse and this is how this is how this is going to begin so 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 i guess in my mind looking back on it now i should have known it was going to be a very very interesting situation before it was over with right so but trust me the story from the night i would never have dreamed that we i'm going to be that would have been talking about it on facebook my facebook friends or that i'm talking about it now because i'm still in a little bit of shock that it went down the way it went down um and i'm actually doing the podcast uh this morning before i leave um and the walls are pretty thin uh, for the most part so i'm trying to be respectful um Although it's pretty quiet this morning. Um, it's very, very quiet this morning. So, um, and I'll probably go down and eat breakfast when there's a little bit less people down there. But not not that I just like people, as you well know, I don't have a problem getting around people. It's just, 
I'm still trying to <laughs> recover from last night. Um, so anyway, so anyway, and 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 and, and but what's even better about this is that a lot of times, like these thirteens, I usually get the thirteens, or there's thirteens around me. So, um, so this would be like I think this is like room three thirteen is nearby. And, uh, you know, it's just like, well, let's just get to the story. I, I don't, the first part of the story is that I go to the steakhouse and it's closed and the woman coming out, uh, this is how this is all going to lead into this. The woman comes out back because I can't get in the front door and I had parked in, I said, uh, and she's carrying out the trash. You got to, this is, this, because even the disc clerk thought this was funny. This is before everything else happened. Uh, she sent me to this uh, double S steakhouse. I said it was like a really good steakhouse that they all go to. And uh, I get over there and it's closed. So I'm driving. As I'm trying to drive off, I notice a woman coming out the back with the trash. I mean, this is a woman working there, obviously. I mean, you're carrying out the trash. So wouldn't you know when you're open? I would think. I would. I thought you would know when you were open. You work for them, right? I was confused. So, anyway, I was really confused when I asked her this question. I'm like, do you know when they're going to open? Uh, and she said, I don't know. And I'm like, you work it, right? Yeah. I said, but you don't know when they're going to open. I was, uh, having been a previous restaurant manager and restaurant worker, I was about to crack up on this one to start with. I was like, okay, so this is how this is going to go. But the good thing is I came back over to this little uh, diner that is inside of this truck stop over here. And uh, had an awesome server named Summer, but she was extremely busy, so didn't get to do everything I normally do. But we still kind of engaged a little bit and had a good time there. And um, so that worked out all right. So, uh, so, so that, so, so I, I still got something to eat, but it was just, it was just funny. So, I, like I told the desk clerk when I got back that, you know, when, he's like, "Kidding? We've been sending people." I said, "Well, they've been, not been telling you it's not open." And she said, nope. I said, well, it's not open right now. I said, and I told her about the woman taking out the trash from outside, inside the restaurant. And she said, she didn't know when they were going to be open. I said, yeah. I said, my thoughts exactly. I was like, how can you not know when you're going to be open when you work at this place? <laughs> but, all right, so on to the story. So what happened was, I am hearing this very interesting conversation that goes from conversation alone to, well, I'm trying to be as clean as I can on the podcast because I don't uh, have it set for explicit and I'm not going to do that because I don't really think I have to do that unless it's some kind of show that I you know, would have to do that. So um, I'm going to try to clean it up as much as possible. So it goes from... Um, you know, it goes from just this massive conversation. And then I realize that not only are they conversating, they're in a sexual situation, too. And I'm like, whoa, you can, who talks this much during this? this and, of course, I even mentioned this on Facebook. And I was just like, wow, I can hear everything. And I'm not talking about the other. I'm talking every word they're talking, what their names are, everything. I was like, this is crazy. And then again, I'm going like to myself, who talks this much during this kind of situation? And uh, it just kept going on and on and on. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, and then, as I mentioned on my Facebook, I was like, you know, I'm sure some people would probably complain, but I'm traveling alone. I don't really care. You know, they'll probably eventually stop anyway. You know, that's what I was thinking. But I'm getting all kinds of details about them. Their life. I mean, just all kinds of details I was not expecting. And, uh, and I'm not talking about just the sexual stuff. I'm talking about things. And I'm going to myself, like, it's like, who, I've never encountered this in all my travels. And not only that, I even did security for hotels at one point. And I have never encountered anything like this as crazy as this is. I may have encountered some crazy things during security for hotels, don't get me wrong. But not to the point where I could hear every word being said, every act everything and I was like wow this is just nuts and of course I was talking on my Facebook and telling my Facebook friends exactly what was going on and this was like this became like the big thing of the night so I'm going to tell the rest of the story of what was not on Facebook 
uh, because I never updated it. I finally just said, it, was, it calmed down one time, and then they went back at it again, and it's like, oh, my God. And it's like some of my friends are, like, saying the same thing. But um, we um, we eventually all apparently went to sleep. And I got up about 2 a.m. in the morning, of course. I don't sleep anyway. And uh, the most awkward part of this whole evening was not only that, like, on... Like, when this was going on, there was a point where, like, my Facebook friends were saying, you ought to say something, and I did. And I finally just said something to the effect of having fun over there, and I hear, oh, yeah, back from her. And I'm like, oh, my God. She, they, they, don't, they don't even care, right? They don't care at all. This is this is funny. It just, it just got to be funny. And then there was a point where one of them did start caring. And it was like, uh, it was like him, and he was like, you know, the guy in the other room can hear everything. We're, and she's like, and does that matter <laughs> or something? And I'm like, oh my God, she she really doesn't care. This is funny. But now, all this went on, you know, for a while, and then finally, like I said, about two a.m. in the morning, it had quietened down, but. I ended up going out to the vending machine um, because I just need to get something, and uh, this is where it gets awkward because I didn't realize that this woman had seen me earlier, and uh, when I checked in, I came to the room. So um, I'm at the vending. I came to the vending machine, and so this woman has been me. I didn't realize it was her. I had no clue it was her, you know, and. Uh, and uh, she's standing there and, uh, and everything, and, and she just turns and looks right at me. And she goes, "You're the guy from the other room, aren't you?" And I'm just like, I'm in shock. I don't know what to say. I'm just like, she said, "Oh, you are, aren't you?" And I go, uh, "She said, oh, I saw you check in. I saw where the room you went to." She said, "You've got to be the guy from next door." And she goes, "Hmm." She said, so you heard everything, didn't you? I was like, uh. <laughs> and I'm just like, how do you react in this situation when she calls you? I like, and I finally just said, well, yeah. I, I said, I am the guy from next door. I sure am. I said, and by the way, your name is Tina, correct? And she goes, uh. And she just starts like, oh, my God. I said, you didn't. I, and I said, well, don't act like that now. I said, you didn't seem like you cared earlier. She said, yeah, but now I realize, mm. Maybe that was maybe a little too much. And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I didn't complain. <laughs> and uh, so we stood there talking for a few minutes. And I was like, this is crazy. I'm like, I'm actually engaging with this person. Oh, my God. What are the odds of this happening? And I'm like, I'm thinking that I'm thinking they're astronomical in my head. I'm going, going, this, this, this is just too weird. You know, it's like something that I would have scripted and I didn't script it. I was like, this is reality. And I'm like, and, uh, I won't, I'm not going to say anybody's last name, but anyway, she actually introduced herself to me and told me, you know, what they were. And I was like, I had made a joke. I don't know. I don't know if I meant to be, I, I guess I, it maybe was sarcastic and a joke at the same time on my Facebook about maybe, maybe they're on their honeymoon. Oh my God. So, she goes, and she said, I'm sorry, we're on our honeymoon, and we're just having a really good, and I about fell out, because I had said that already, and I didn't tell her that, I didn't tell her that, that I had said that to my Facebook friends, I didn't even tell her that I'd been posting on my Facebook, talking back and forth about this whole situation going on, and, uh, anyway, she said, I'm so sorry. I said, don't be sorry. I said, it's fine. I said, I'm not upset in the least. It's not bothering me. I said, everybody's quieted down anyway now. And uh, she's like, uh, I was like, it's it's fine. I could not believe that she went from one extreme to the other. And I can't believe the fact that she introduced herself to me. Um, I can't even realize that she realized that I was the guy from the room next door. But it was fu it was funny. That, that it was awkward. It was well, I guess it was awkward at first. But I guess it kind of become a little funny because I mean I was taken back. I was I was I was thrown. I was like, oh my god, she knows who I am. <laughs> and um, so being me, I had to introduce myself, and I and of course I did my typical introduction and everything. And uh, she said, well, that's an interesting name. And I said, yeah, it's not my. It's not my real name um, that I have in 
in the middle of my name. I said it's a nickname that you know, but I do use it for my uh, entertainment stuff and everything. And this is how we ended up in a conversation for about five minutes. And uh, and then finally she was just like, well, I better get back. He's gonna and he's gonna think something's wrong. I was like, well, anyway, well, you have a good night. And uh, anyway, so that's what happened. She walks away with her stuff, and I'm like, I'm at the vending machine getting mine going. Okay, so all the craziness that happened, and this is how it ends. But anyway, it went from an extremely boring day to a very interesting day. And I don't think I've ever had it jump like that. I don't think I've ever had it jump from that boring to that interesting in a single day. But that's what happened. And for those of my friends that wanted the update, uh, the awkward the awkward meeting at the vending machine was probably the funnier thing at the end of it all. And uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they're both down for maybe they're both down there for breakfast this morning. That could be more interesting too. But we'll see if that happens. I don't think it will. I think I'll. I think everything that's happened on the destiny at this point probably has happened. Well, anyway, there's your update, and uh, I hope everyone's having a good time. Um, I know it was a certainly an interesting evening for me, and uh, I will be back again. And thank you for listening to the Thirteenth Destiny podcast with Magnum, and God bless all of you.